Over in the western lands of Britonia, Karl and Franz deflected and destroyed the orc menace. In two battles, the orcs of Britonia were finally shamed and destroyed, bringing peace to not one kingdom, but an empire as well. Later on, the Reich's Marshal would fight an apocalyptic battle, fighting the full power and evil of Heinrich Kimmler, the Lich Master. His legions were beyond number, but the faith and fervor of the men of the Empire defied them. We now continue on. There's some warnings out there of a grave threat that might be coming by eventually. Hobgoblin slavers. Scourge of the Dark Lands, Hobgoblin scouting parties have arrived in the easternmost borders of the Old World. The cunning, treacherous things are using slave soldiers as fast raiding parties to scout the area. And I've also encountered Clan Scryer. Good to know. Now, Kurt, you need to go replenish. We need to move you along. We're coming over here to Helmgard right away. Then Carl, I want you to pick up some new units, I believe. You're going to have a new quest very soon. I'm not going to confederate every single county, and I'll tell you why. It would be way too easy. I like the idea of having to manage all of my subjects, which is why I often like to deny that. Sure. I could get everyone over here to join me, but that would just make me so much more powerful. I like the idea of having to kind of work within the framework of what the Empire is all about. Semi-autonomous states that are trying to work together, they're unified, of course, by the Emperor, but even then, there's a lot of intrigue and internal drama. Okay. Now, Reichland is looking pretty good. I think I would like to get the Grand Theogenist. Yeah, let's do that. Rank 6? Really? I was hoping for like rank 10 or something, but I'll take it. The Silver Seal. Ah, right, a quest for Carl. You know what? Go pursue that Vampiris or whoever. Now he has a battle to pick up his magical item. Very nice. 200 prestige, more experience for him. We'll do that later. Now here's what you need. You need flagellants, and I'll show you why. He needs a lot of them. And Luther will go join him later. Not right now, though. Okay, so over here, we've got Blessed Holy War. 12% more weapon strength for flagellants. We've got the work of God. He's able to reduce missile attacks on any flagellants by 50%. That is incredible. All right, I'm going to give you Route Marcher now. Then I could buff up. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Now they have even more melee attack and melee defense. I want these crazy holy men to just run right through whatever cheap undead or beastmen units that are around. Okay. So you can do that for a few turns. I might even give you a war altar of more for fun. It has a little aura that provides a penalty to undead. Minus 10 to their leadership. Okay. Rank 14 for Sienna. Now Sienna, I'm going to give you something nice. Melting heat. More range. Yeah, I'm going to turn you back into a Pyromancer because I like it. Now, Unchained is really good. I like it a lot, too. But let's go back over to Pyromancer. Done. Ooh, a Dragon Helm. Yeah, resist even more fire damage. As you well should because I often have her overlapping abilities on top of her own location. All right. So, Kurt's over there. Carl's fine. And we've got Carillion who's close by. I need two more heroes, I believe. Blessings two more would be nice to have. No, I'm not going to hire those two. One's a lord. Now, if those two were heroes, then absolutely. Okay, so I need a battle wizard. Fleet-footed. More speed? That would be very good for what I have. A bunch of flagellants. Yeah, take that. Get life bloom and earth blood. Perfect. All right, so you've got a name. Eric? Not Erol. <laughs> Let's see, no, let me try it out real quick. No relation, can't type out the entire thing here. All right, so I'll just finish it up on the second line. Bronze, Iraq. no, I'm gonna call you Eric. There we go. Now you have a name and you have no relation to Carl Franz. Then we have one more character to pick up. Two warrior priests, sounds really good to me. Oh my God, 10% more weapon strength and more leadership, incredible. Okay, I'm going to give you the Hammer of Sigmar, a Barded Warhorse, then Safeguard, and of course, Replenish Troops too. Yeah, there we go. Hold on, you've got one more point. I'll put it into Impassioned. Your name is going to be Rorik Halas. But you're going to have a war title too, the Lightbringer. Perfect. So those two are going to join 
the Grand Theogenist. I cannot wait to try out Carillion. I love that. Eventually, I'm going to have her become a Shade. All right. Now, after that, we're almost ready to end our turn. Before we end our turn, we've got something to do. We've got to upgrade our buildings a little bit more. If we want to make more money, we've got to try to make more money. All right, there's Pettivon. We've got the Misty Hills over here. Naturally, I'm going to want my weaving house and done. Okay, what's over here? Montfort, sure. Now let's end our turn right after we pick up another Light Order wizard. And I'll show you why. We've got more strength when fighting undead and chaos and all of that, but I want plus five to untainted. That is so powerful. Corruption will have no stake here. Beer for the fish. During a maneuver on the River Reich, one of her ships accidentally sunk a dwarf in merchant cog. Whoops, my bad. You know what? Here's some money. It's only a bit of money. Oh, look at that. We completed one quest. Well, there you go, Volkmar, for the Jade Griffin. Yeah, there we go. And salvaged plunder. I'm not going to read every single event. Take the treasure. Interesting. What is it? I wanted. Slave driver for Kurt. All right, less upkeep, more movement range, a whole bunch of benefits, and more technology completed. Oh, if I waited one more turn, Volkmar would have been at a much higher level. Oh, well. That's okay. Okay, so now I've got to use one agent to go after the undead. I can do that. I'll do it later, though. Not right now. Come over here, heroes. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so what else do you need while you're here? Oh, hold on. Oh! <gasps> The Brass Bull is coming back. Okay, we're going to need to go help them out. They're all alone. I'm going to need another army then. At least for right now. You know what? Let's pick up Edward. Edward, come serve us. There we go. He's a crazy drunk pirate man. Naturally, more guns. <laughs> it got straight to the point. What do we need? More guns. Okay. Bloody reliable. I love that. These are all great. What else do you have? Oh, man, I need to do a Marienburg game. That would be delightful. Drunken shipmates. Sartos and pirates. I don't have any here right now. Yeah, these are wonderful. More replenishment. I like that. More guns. Take route marcher. And over here, award save. Yeah, get all of your usual stuff. Your usual bits. And he's able to regenerate as well. Hard to kill. That's true. Pull the line. Here's your horse. All right, after that, bloody reliable, more diplomatic relations with other nearby factions. Awesome, man. Absolutely. Okay, if we're going to battle, you're going to need some loot, some stuff. I'm going to give you, let's see, Death Jacks, Sterling's Revenge, Illuminarch. I mean, you could just bring all of these over to someone else later, but it's an emergency battle, so we need these over here, I think. Very nice. And then pick up some archers, like two of them. Perfect. Okay, Middenheim, you need a lot more, don't you? We'll take care of that later. What's over here? Luther, you're ranked 24. Great fervor. Oh, absolutely more weapon strength. Let's see. Now, Emperor. I need you to probably do your quest battle. It's about time for us to get you a fancy item, you know. Okay, the Grand Theogenist, he wouldn't be able to make it there in time, so we need a few other units. Now, what units would be handy? A few halberds would help out, so let's grab, like, let's say three Imperial Foot halberds, okay? Then, after that, I want a few other tools, too. A War Altar of more sounds great. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Then, what else do I want? I want to have variety. I don't want to have, like, the same army composition for every battle. That would be dull and boring, in my view, so... We're going to change it up. To change it up, let's get some Outriders. There we go. I'll get like two of them. At least one for right now. No, let's get two. I'll pick up actually one more War Altar of more for fun. Yeah, that's my idea of fun. Let's get a Holy Altar and beat people with it. All right. I don't have a lot of money, so actually we can wait on that one. I wonder if I need more to actually teleport over to that mission. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to need a little bit more money. I need 1,000, right. So we'll cancel that one for now. Perfect. And we're going to go do that job. We've got to. 
Time to fight some undead. Oh, we can absolutely do that. Let's have fun doing that. Our mighty friends are now getting into position. Karl Franz, Ludwig, Barden, and everyone else, they're getting into position. And we're going to obliterate the undead here to gain the silver seal for Karl Franz. To have such a powerful artifact is not a symbol of vanity, but rather power. It shall empower him for future campaigns. I've got my halberds on the front lines right now. Now, let's have a look around here real quick. We've got some undead creatures on the way, on the right flank. My war wagons are currently shooting them. They've got some nice armor piercing damage, so by the time they get to us, my god, they're going to take a lot of damage. It's going to be awesome. Look at that, one has been dropped already. The men of the empire know how to fight. They know better. They're only simple men, so what do they have? They don't have magic, really. They have technology, they have skill, they have discipline. These are the tools we use to win these battles. So men in a wagon are killing these beefy giant creatures, these gym goers, these gym rats, these chads of the undead, and yet they win anyway. Look at that. Then way over here, we've got halberds moving in and all of our heroes who are getting ready to fight. Karl Franz, Ludwig, Marcus Kruber, all of them all fighting together going after a banshee. Not even a shapely banshee. Um, look, if you're a sexy undead person, all right, that's okay. I'm still going to hit you with my hammer, but nice. But we got her. She's not. She was a nasty Karen and she had to go. She was like, can I talk to the Imperial management? And we said no. <laughs> I'm only joking. All right. Over here, we've got a lot of undead horsemen who are charging in. And we're holding strong. Now, Sienna is very powerful. She has a lot of offensive spells. The Ubers Reich are very interesting heroes. I mean, even outside of just trying to imitate Vermintide, they're fascinating. I love them a lot. They're very, very cool. And look at Ludwig. He's a giant man in the midst of many undead, and he's winning. Now, over here, my war wagons did well. We had our huntsmen also hunt them down. Look at how many bodies are on the ground. We did a great, great job. Now, the war wagons are moving up, and we're attacking the main undead army close by. I've got halberds who are over on the front lines. Their only job is to just hold to hold and to do well. There is Sienna right in the midst of so many of our units right now. And there goes a stream of fire, burning down our enemies and destroying them all. It's an awesome thing. Now, we can zoom out real quick and have a good look. So there is another army on the way right now. It's way over here. The crypt ghouls are on the way. I mean, these guys here are vulnerable to ranged attacks. So they're coming in to club us, but look at what we have here. We are a much mightier army. We're much stronger than they ever could be. I've got powerful spellcasters, but also Barden. Barden's like, yes! Ha ha ha! And he's just here to burn people with his flaming stream. He drinks too much. It's just flaming piss all day, every day. And it destroys a lot of undead. And our infantry are holding over here. We got Ludwig, Carl, everyone, the whole family, the whole family all attacking crypt goals and other creatures who are charging in right now. And there's one vampire, one vampiris, who's fighting. And my god, what can we do against her? Well, Marcus Kruber. Marcus Kruber can beat the hell out of her. Look, she's a supernatural creature. He's a man. <laughs> He's much more talented. <laughs> All right, let's have a look over here now. Barden's having to fight in melee. Look at how bulky he is. We used a flaming attack on top of him because I knew that it wouldn't really damage him too much. And it really did not. No, look, he's doing fine. X-rays are still around. The silver seal shall be ours. The empire only grows in power. Let's see. I heard you like to play Castlevania. <laughs> anyway, there she is. Killing a few people. But my army is much more powerful. We're all in one area. My knights have not been used. They didn't need to be used. So we can zoom out and see real quick that we've got Barden over in the middle fighting some of these grave guard. And then we have Sienna who's like, eat my fiery piss. And she's done a good job at destroying our foes. And we've got huntsmen who are focusing on them as well. We have a few more to worry about. But don't worry about it. It'll be okay. 
The battle's nearly over. That vampire is still alive. Only a few crypt ghouls are still alive, too. The hex raves are not doing well. Our normal units, our friends here, they are just supreme in what they're able to do. There is a miscast. I kept trying to overcast spells, but that miscast kept getting us. Oh, well. Son of him. There's a burning spell going right through the crypt ghouls. I mean, even a little bit of damage is enough damage to at least get rid of quite a few of these crypt ghouls. Could you imagine the putrid smell of just burning flesh, old flesh like that? It's got to be awful. You would carry that for the rest of your life. The memories would not fade. But the battle is over now. We have won. There's only one Vampiris left. And we're going to defeat her. Then the battle shall be over. Do we need mercy? No. We have skill. We have skill and power and discipline. We don't need mercy. Have a look over here. The battle's over. We've won. Kurt has moved up north to Middleland. We were able to win that battle and to gain a very powerful artifact for Call of Bronze. Our job is to now eradicate all undead from our lands. I don't want to take control of every single state of the Empire. Especially not Nordland. I'll take a few, sure, but not all of them. I'll probably take a few down here. But when it comes to bordering states... Let them maintain control, otherwise I'll be responsible for ensuring the peace. Like over in Nordland, I want them to stay around because I want them to fight Norska. Don't make me do that. It will take up way too much of my time. Now we're about ready to move on. Let's have a look over here. Carl, here. you can move on right now. We could go down over here to Fyldorf. You'll only lose a few men. Yeah, let's go right now. No we're going down. War. It's time for a battle. And after that, Volkmar shall be ready in one more turn. Luther Huss came to join him because he's got Volkmar's disciple. Now he's free. I don't have to pay any upkeep. And he's unbreakable too. Even better. Okay. After that, we've got some money to spend. I'll probably get another army later. But for now, I want to upgrade all of my high tier buildings over in Reichland. That sounds like a really good idea to me. I've got a lot of public order, so I don't need to worry about that. But I will make more money. There we go. Send her turn now and get ready for another turn. Oh, there's Vlad. Vlad has joined Manfred. Interesting. Let's get ready to find him. After we do that, we'll see how the lands are down here, but we might have to go on a Grand Crusade to fight a bunch of orcs. And later on, might even go after some Dark Elves too, depending on how the world is doing. I believe the Hunt Marshal is not doing well. Marcus is probably gone now. Often, the Skaven and other factions do much better than he's able to do. All right, let's end our turn. I moved Carl to a new location. He was going down to help out Gelt. Now, look who's coming to fight us. A dread foam. And we've got to do our best to win. Now, let's have a look at our formation right now. We've got halberds on the front lines. We've got some huntsmen behind them. I've got my great swords. Well, my imperial foot who have great swords who are flanking them my knights are in the woods right now we're just having to wait for them to advance towards us they have many vargulfs they have vargeis we're looking at one black coach these are deadly units they could hurt us the vampire wars are something to be really feared now when i say feared i don't mean let's run away and tremble no it's a fear we should fear these evil things but we should face them to face your fear is to be brave. And Carl knows that all too well. So now here they come. The knights are moving in. And we're going to take them on right now. They're charging. Let's have a look at that real quick. They're under attack. And we can see what we can do over here. We can just respond to them right now. My leader's on the front lines. Like right over here. Look at that. Just one streaming fire attack. Dealing quite a bit of damage to them. Mind you. Sienna knows how to hurt. She's a pyromancer. She knows how to beat them. We got her go. She's just waiting. Waiting to hit even more. We can zoom out again. We're hitting more bar guys. There's a few who have charged into our lane. We've got some hex raves here close by who will go after me and deal some damage, but we'll take care of them too. Here they come right now, going after my war wagons, who are not in a skirmish stance. So sure, we're gonna lose one. And there we go, another burning attack, at least ripping right through them right away. Because it's what we know what to do. It's how we know to survive. 
we just use whatever tools that we have at hand to destroy the opposition, the undead who are trying to subjugate our lands and transform them. The undead do not create anything new, they just take what is already there and they corrupt it, they twist it. So we can zoom out again and have a look. You can see where we're all at right now. Anyone who moved in behind, they're gone. Those of our guys are gone. We've got some other units over here who are charging in, but I've got some Imperial Foots Grey Swords who are charging in too. I've got my halberds on the front lines holding, and my huntsmen are just going after any barn guys who are still moving around. These hex rays are still around, and Sienna just launched a fireball, a burning head spell, actually. That's what she calls it. She's got two. One is like that little moving skull. The other one is just kind of a explosive fireball, double fireball spell. These Vargols are still around, and everyone, all these humans are having to fight them. It's not easy. We're fighting a lot of inhuman creatures. You spend your entire life only being around humans, and then you're told, hey, by the way, you've got to kill some of these inhuman creatures. But, you know, after the initial shock, I think humans can adapt. There's going to be a lot of trauma for many of these people, fears that they'll carry forever, but I think people can at least mostly adapt to these situations, and they'll be able to fight them off. These nightmares can be warded off with flame and light. That black coach is still charging and going after my huntsmen, killing a lot of them. Black coaches are very deadly. They have a lot of auras too, so they're able to hold up for a long period of time. Let's go ahead and zoom down real quick. These var guys are still around, but look at our units still fighting and we've got some more flames shooting right into them. These flames are quite deadly against foes who have regeneration. So that's what we're using a lot of right now. There's Sienna using another skull laughing mocking and burning cauterizing wounds when needed look at these men they're doing okay it's a pretty cool battle it's like a freaking movie right now imagine you were watching a movie and you saw a scene like this you would say yes a single camera awesome it's like old boy in that hallway fight scene with the freaking hammers that black coach is no joke most of my units behind are doing just fine there's that black coach that's still just around we're gonna Take care of that later my war wagons are close by we're fighting those hex raids too we did lose one wagon and there's a freaking bar golf man now when we zoom out we can see that we're still doing well we've lost a lot it's been a lot of damage right now I have all of my huntsmen hunting down shooting at that one black coach it's too creepy for me. It's got to be destroyed, you see. Then over here. Wait, Heinrich just got back up. Excuse me. He's not here. Go away. He's gone. There's Ludwig. Ludwig is like, hello, little man. I shall crush you. I am Ludwig, the mightiest of all of the empire. <laughs> I apologize for that voice, but that's how I picture him. I am the mighty Ludwig. Look at my muscles. And then way over here, we've got more undead who were left. With that one black coach still around. Carl took a lot of damage. He was nearly wounded. Vlad is around. Vlad is here. But Carl is fine. There's Vlad. Oh my god, Vlad was right behind him. I've come for your blood, human. But here comes Victor and Barden, who've turned into a slayer and a zealot. It's pretty creepy. <laughs> Victor, I don't know if he looks better or worse. But I've got Marcus here, too. Everyone is grouping up on Vlad. Vlad von Karstein. The battle's nearly over. We only need to worry about him. Don't worry. Marcus was only knocked back. We're going to wound him and then win the battle. Let's get him. I've come for your blood, weaklings. And then you just have a bunch of weird, eccentric people. Oh, only a few more strikes and the battle will be over. There's only a few undead who are left anyway, so... We're just going to focus on Vlad. I'm glad to see you, Vlad. Come on. Let's make it happen. I know you can do it. Oh, they did it right as I glanced away. Anyway, the battle's over and we have won. Trade opportunities, huh? What a major battle. And what will you give me? Oh, 40% more income from trade tariffs for 10 turns. I'll take it. I've got plenty of prestige. So? Now, over here, level 25 for Hans Zentler. I'm going to give you, let's see, what would be good for you? More armor, naturally. You could use a lot more armor. Now, mid and high, but what else do we need while we're here? 
more pill to quarter. Not really, but we do have many agents providing more pill to quarter anyway, so it won't always be that high. Once we leave, it should go down a bit. We'll take it anyway. And over here, we'll take our menagerie. We could use some Demogriff Knights. Only two turns to build it up. Very nice. Now I wonder, do we have any enemies to worry about? Ah, there's Manfred. I wonder what he's going to do. Interesting. Now way down here, I've got to go after Isabella. We took out Vlad, but now it's all about Isabella. Okay. You leveled up? Oh, you did. Rank 18. Okay. I'm going to give you Wound Maker. Perfect. That'll work out. Never. Do you have a battering Please ram? Do we need to fight them directly? Probably not. We took a lot of damage, but that is okay. We lost only one unit. We now have File Dwarf. Okay. I can build up my File Dwarf wine market for more money. A lot more money, actually. Oh my god. 40 barrels of wine plus 15% to income from all buildings. Yeah, that's all really good stuff. I'm pretty low on money. I'll have to upgrade my walls later. Ooh, regeneration. That's very good. I mean, he's weaker to fire damage, but... Ah, oh, yes. well. I'll take regeneration. Okay, one more level. No, sorry. Two more levels to go. Then we'll be able to pick up Deathclaw. I'm going to give you a Deadly Onslaught, and that'll do. Then for Victor, I've turned him into a Zealot. I'm going to give him Woundmaker. Eventually, we'll have them all. Okay, rank 18 for you. What else am I going to give you now? I want to make you better in combat, too. I'm going to give you... Let's see. What's over here? Knightly Valor? Sure. Better charge bonus for all of my knights. And what else do we have around here? There's Baston. Baston, take up Weaving House. Perfect. And after that, we can just wait to build up our walls. That'll only be in one more turn. You know what? Go back, Kurt. Yeah, I think I'll probably end up fighting Nordland and Middleland. I'll fend off Nordland, but I'll focus on Middleland, then hopefully negotiate a peace treaty with Nordland. I want them around to fight the Norskins. I need them for that, or I'll have to do it myself, and that'll take a lot more time. Now, here's Volkmar. Volkmar's down here, too. We're going to bring him down to come help out. We've got Undead to kill. So we'll bring him down over here to Fort Sol. Oh, yeah, that'll be a much tougher one to take. Now, when it comes to trade agreements, what could we pick up? Hopefully no one's trying to fight you. Oh, you were pushed out. Now you're down here. Interesting. Okay. So you moved away from our lands. I, I freaking got you, man. What? Now, I could trade these guys, but I don't trust Middleland. They're not my favorite faction to have around me. All right. Okay, what yes. about Talian city-states? Would you like to trade? Oh, that would be a lot of money, actually. Yeah, let's take that right now. That is a lot of money. Right. Border princes, what about you? You only own Greetings, one location. Sure, we can do that, too. As you say, Another sir. trade agreement. Who else do we have Lord now? Artois. Okay, Artois. Let's try it out. You are telling me no, but what if I gave you some coin? I'm very powerful, mind you. Ah, oh, well. Maybe later. We'll try again later. Well, that'll do it. Let's end our turn now and get ready for a new battle. What? So we're only consolidating our power. We still do need to take Drakenhof. They did lose Eschen, but not Tempelhof. So they do have their two mighty capitals close by. The Moot is doing fine. <laughs> well, good for the Moot. Legendary Lord available, Marcus Wolfhart. Nice, okay, which means we get a bunch of new heroes too. It's over here, tell them Bicklin. Yeah, sure, demand their return. I don't want to really confederate too much right now. Kalara and Ronrick too. It's a lot. Okay, so we need to move one character over to Ostermark. It's not too far away, but it's far enough. All right. Now let's go look around here and see what we can do. We've got Karl Franz is currently trying to replenish his army. And we can go after Fort Sol. I do want Fort Sol. Let's take it. How bad is it? Oh, okay. It is a major battle. I wonder if I should fight it out. But they have no commander. So I feel like I would be fine anyway. I mean, if you look at my flagellants, I feel like they're going to be able to tear right through them. It's only a siege battle, so I am going to auto-resolve it. If it was a filled battle, I would absolutely fight it. But siege battles, I mean, I know how to make them go my way. All right. I'll get Sigmarite Dogma. 
I don't want any agents bothering me right now. And over here, let's take up our upgraded basic walls. We'll take that for sure. Then we've got Kurt. Okay, Kurt, what are you going to do? Well, Kurt, you could go after a few neighboring enemies that are pretty close by. I mean, you're kind of here to watch the north for me. Yes, my lord. Oh, he's gone. Maybe he lost. I don't know. Maybe he pulled back, but he's surrounded by friendly territories. Praise. Friendly to me, not friendly to him. All right, so over here, let's see. I've got over 10,000 income coming in. Let's build our cathedral. Once we build it, we no longer have to worry about it. So I do like to focus on high tier buildings like that. Carl, you've got a few turns to go. Man, that is really low replenishment. I can't believe how low it is. I'm so used to having so much. Yeah, take your opal amulet. And after that, okay, cool. You can have a few followers, more research rate for me. She's looking fine. She's rank 16. No talisman for her. She's got a dragon helm. Uh, what about Victor? Victor, do you need a few followers? No, you're good too. Here's a sword striking for you. And actually, you know what? We'll give you that potion of toughness. Yeah, take that. Okay, I'm going to pick up the last of my trade and industry. So we'll pick up Warhorse Breeding to reduce upkeep and recruitment cost. And then I'll worry about some other stuff later. But that looks good to me. We're still trying to solidify our hold on the Empire. Then we can move on to some other grand campaign. See, my idea here is that maybe we win over in the Empire, right? Then to really settle things, I'll just have people vote on what they want me to fight. Norskins, Dark Elves, Orcs down here. There are many, many options, and I would rather all of you choose. That feels pretty interesting to me. Don't let me choose. I'll have all of you choose. Okay, Carillion, I'm going to turn you into a shade for fun. Do you want to see her in combat? She's got two new abilities, Infiltrate and Assassin's Blade. I don't know about those. We'll see them in combat. Now, Grand Theogenes, I'm going to give you another point into Emperor's Finest. Enjoy. Then, for Eric, no relation Franz. At your level, here's Earth Blood, rank 3. He's going to heal up my units constantly. So we've done that. I haven't gone after the Wood Elves. They're not united, which is good. They do concern me, but they also like me a lot, which works in my favor. I mean, I like that personally. All right, so over here, we've got Toll Gates. I'll take that, and we can end our turn again. Well, look at that. The Elector, once again, is trying to proclaim his independence. I say no. Not interesting because we did it through that event we're only fighting Midland. oh great we don't need to fight Nordland, even though they have a defensive alliance wonderful oh that is even better than I could have planned let's come on down here that saves me a lot of time everyone it's only the hunts marshal Marcus Graf okay that feels like a proper large battle to fight here you go Valton enjoy and over here, we've got a new warrior priest, Halas. Well, Halas will be fighting a battle in just a moment. You just hold on, my friend. Now, while that is going on, we're still replenishing down here. Oh my god, the orcs are up here. What the hell? What are they doing up here? They shouldn't be here. Go home. Okay, Fester Spike, I wonder if you belong to any Skaven. That's what concerns me. Do you belong to any Skaven? Let's find out. I need to know, because... Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of Skaven close by. If there's Skaven here, I've got to get rid of them. I can't allow any rot to take root in my empire. That is verboten. All right, now what else do we have around here? We've got Reichland. Okay, Reichland, let's build up our engineer's workshop. That's going to be done. After that, I have pretty much no money. Now I just need to end my turn. Carl's still trying to replenish. Lost one unit, so I'll wait to pick up a new one. I mean, what do I even want? I'll probably get some unique unit. I do want to change it. Actually, you know what? Let's bring him back home for a little while. Let's just bring him back over here to like Grunberg. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just have him run all the way back to, to Grunberg. And I'm going to get him some more Imperial Foot Soldiers. I've got a cap, but I can get some more. All right, sounds good. Now, I wonder if they're going to charge out. I don't want to fight them in a town. I'd rather fight them in the field. The field would be a lot more fun. Yeah, it's just like a freaking line location. So I'm going to at least build a few of these Empire Towers, these little siege towers. Yeah, Empire Siege Towers. 
Now we're going to end our turn again. The Wood Elves are beginning to confederate. Interesting. Okay. Let them do that. We've got over here Sienna. Yeah, I'm not too interested in fighting a little siege battle like that. If it was a custom settlement, then sure. But because it's not, no, I'm not really that interested, to be quite frank with you. I take more range, Sienna. They have such cool abilities. All right. We're going to auto-resolve it. We lost quite a few soldiers, but again, it just was not a major battle for me. So we're going to take Middenstag. There we go. Battlemaster. Oh, very nice. Word save, by percent more leadership, charge bonus, weapon strength, and a hero recruit rank of plus one. We've unlocked the Hellstone Rocket Battery and the Black Lions. Hell Blasters on a War Wagon. Awesome, man. Very awesome. Okay, here's a new rank. I'm going to pick up full plate armor. Enjoy that, Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. And for Heinrich, Heinrich von Krinkel. Let's see, I've not upgraded every spell yet, so we're going to focus on that. Then for Rurik Halas, I'm going to give you Impassioned. Very good. Okay. Then over in Middenstag, we can take up a Tier 3 settlement. We're going to need some upgraded walls later, but we can keep what we have for now, which is going to be a Blacksmith and a Clithier. And... Let's see, after that, we've got Bring Emperor Karl men. Franz is going back to Grunberg, and I've got so much money. So my Nordling Guard are going to turn into a new type of unit. Let's go look over here real quick. Let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. We'll take all of them. Not five. Five is way too many. I could use more Demigurf Knights. I could use War Wagons. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let's change it up a little bit. I've got some new items, some new toys out here. So we're going to take up... I'm going to double down. Wait, hold on. Do I have any land ships over here? I need to be sure. I have none over here. So that means I need at least two, right? Oh, yeah. Skaven. Can't let that happen. Nope. Not on my watch. No Skaven allowed. Now, Skaven, I'll fight in a town because they're actually very hard. They're incredibly hard. They've got warp lightning for days. And because we have more winds of magic in the game. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? That's going to be a nightmare to fight. So now... I've got to fight that because it's going to be a nightmare to fight. I'll take two land ships because I'm a wild man and I got to have my land ships. Kurt is fine. I think I might change out a few things later, but his army is looking pretty good. I don't want the tatter souls here. I'll probably change them out later. Let's see. I've got 8,700 gold coins left. Let's go over here and see what else we can build. It's going to be stuff to help improve my economy before I try anything else. There we go. I mean, I'm at 14,000. I have so much money. I finally have that bank that you think I would have from the very beginning, right? <laughs> okay, let's put up these walls over here and fight some Skaven. Screw the Skaven, man. I'm going to go burn them down at Fester Spike. That's one location where Skaven can do a lot of damage, so we got to do something ourselves. Hell, Keek. Fear my righteous fury. I shall. Our heroes are charging in right now. They broke open a front gate, and you know that Skaven can summon in some of their clan rats. So we're having to go right in right away. The War Altar of Moor is doing a pretty good job of just staying around. Check out that War Altar. It's really cool looking, by the way. I shall pray for you, and then they smite you. There we go. Look at that sight. That's really cool, man. That's really cool. That's awesome. Oh my god, and he's holding a skull? What a nice little detail. I'm telling you, modders are just incredible creative savants. It's awesome to see what they're able to do. There's Luther and some others who are still fighting out over here. We're gonna fight some warp grinders. Now, here's what you need to know about this custom map from GCCM, which is in my mod collection, which I do have a link down below. There's some gates over here, right? But there's also cannons in these gates. Check that out. Right in their foreheads. Dwarves have a third eye, a third cannon eye. And so here's the big thing. They're going to constantly shoot whether you own them or not. That's why I'm having to move carefully. But they've got also magic and they've killed a lot of my flagellants, which is fine. I mean, these people are here to render themselves up to Sigma. And... Anyway, that's a reference to Sigma, bless this ravaged body. Victor Saltspire and all that from Vermintide. <laughs> it's some of my favorite lines for anything because it sounds so ridiculous and I love it. Anyway, there's Volkmar. We've got Luther Hus close by. The Holy Squad just rolling through some Ratmen. Clan Spittle. Like that. I hope you're not in a 
dark room because that was very bright. But as Luther Huss breaking down the enemies. But anyway, we've got the war altar that's pretty close by. And over here on the walls, we're going to move in some flagellants later. We got some hand gunners too. Ooh, there's a warp lightning spell. There we go. And so up over here on the wall, we've got some enemies to worry about. Some heroes. All right. Now we just need to wait and see what our units are going to do once they're all together. We've done a great job at just conquering our foes. But now we've got to handle a foe that's got a lot of spite, a lot of hate, and a lot of spells too. Now my little wizard over here, Eric Franz, he's going to be using Earth Blood constantly. I mean all the time. Awakening of the Wood, Earth Blood just to heal people up. He does such a great job, and when you have more winds of magic like that, you can just spam spells constantly. It's awesome, man. They're still using warp lightning over here, but my flagellants are like, Yes, for Sigma! I love this! And they're giving their lives for a greater good. Ooh, that spell went nowhere. Thank you. Much appreciated. All of my leaders are still over here and fighting. We're blessing them. We're saying, Hello, greetings! Have you ever heard of the good word of Sigmar? No, it is Eric Franz. Eric says hello. He's a crazy old hobo who's like, Have you ever smoked some mushroom? Yeah, I found some good mushroom. Heals you up real good. Yeah. Let's just go out there and do that. Why not? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what my players have to deal with whenever I DM for d and I'm just letting you know. Poor voice acting. Hey there, everyone. Kiddies. I'm just here to teach you some things. Me, the Jade Wizard. There's some Awakening of the Wood. Gotta break down some enemies, you see. Especially if you want to have some time to yourself to smoke some uh, special herbal all natural vegan goodness <laughs> anyway i'm all i'm all done now i'm all done so we're gonna zoom out real quick they're still fighting out here my flagellants over here by the walls oh they're doing an exquisite an exquisite job look at them go holy men we've got some of these halberds out there just poke them stab them they're man-sized rats you can do what you want Oh my god, a plague priest. That can't be allowed. No, we've been waiting over here. Oh my god, yes indeed. Look at that. We have killed so many rats, but we're not done yet. The War Otter of Moor. They continue to fight and do well. Luther Huss is close by helping to defend it. We've got Natchi, uh, Naturally Carillion too. Oh my god. Look at those globes being thrown in. That's crazy. Oh my god. But here's another awakening of the wood. That's awesome. Now let's have a look on the walls again. The flagellants are breaking them apart. Look at that. That's incredible. We were able to break them down. We used numbers. Let's see, the War Altar of Moor. Now, all of these globes are being thrown in, and they're just killing a lot. Of their own units, mind you. I mean, they're just killing a lot of their own, because I mean, we're a singular unit, so we're just kind of chilling out right now. Using Earth Blood to heal up and everything else, and on the walls, we've got well over a thousand men who were just around beating the shit out of little rat men <laughs> like we're we're just like fuck you rat and we're just smacking them with look i've got like a thousand charlie days here with their special rat beating bats okay <laughs> it's incredible oh my god look at that that was a miscast a dude made a mod for miscasting and he made it incredible what a simple thing and he made the game so much better just from that one simple tool. Modders are saints in very many ways. I would say that, but they've got flaws too. They're humans, but you get what I mean. They add so much for us. 
and most of them for very little. There's incredible works of art out there for people who do not get anything or very little for it. It might not be as obvious, but these subtle changes, man, they make such a dramatic difference, and I just highly appreciate them. I've been using mods for over 15 years now. Love modders. Always have supported them, as you guys know. As you guys have known. It's just who I am. These are people who I know who have worked for a passion. And so I can't help but say, hey, man, you rock. So over here, there's not a lot of rats who are left. I mean, they're glowing. If you're into neon and all that, neon green, this might be your type of battle. But the hammer boys, the skinny hammer boys, they're doing what they can. You're doomed. One day I'll have to play the Mark of Chaos expansions. Haven't done that yet. One day I shall. They were added on good old games, GOG. And I played like the original campaign. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun for sure. So over here, the boys, they are ready. Look at this guy here. He's not wearing a shirt. He's wearing a scroll. That's what I'm talking about. These are some holy men. Some of them have sewn their mouths shut. Dear Lord, dear Sigmar, that's insane. Anyway, I'm moving in some handgunners now. We've got to go after some more enemies. So we're moving up now. I've got my heroes who are up here. They're going to take some more damage. That's just natural, you know. That That's just natural. So we got all these heroes close by, like Volkmar. Oh, we just saw his silhouette with Eric as well. And Luther, Luther is one of my favorite, man. Just, that is a man who knows his mission. He has dedication. There is no repentance there. He's just like, I know what must be done. Let us smite the unbeliever, the foe, the heretic. Then over here, I broke open their gate, and I thought I could bring in some of my, of my mounted troops, but I, I uh, quickly found out that was going to be a flawed idea. So that didn't go as well as I would have liked it to. That was just very, very dangerous. Let's go look over here. So the War Altar of Moor is fighting a lot of Skaven. Just holding them back right now. It's a rainy day. It's an awful day. But look at this dude. Look at this guy just fighting on his own. He is a champion. A god of death. It's all about the veneration and the culture of death. He's about that. Look over here. So they're busy. They are doing their stuff right now. All right. So now we've broken more enemies. And now we just need to watch out for more enemies. We have to charge up and just do what we can to break some enemies. There's another Awakening of the Wood. Very nice. Man, they took a lot of damage. The War Altar of Moor is still close by and breaking them apart. We've got plenty of kills. Their gunners are close by and they're dealing a lot of damage. So we're using another Awakening of the Wood to damage them a little bit. They could easily kill any of my heroes, any of my leaders in just a moment. There we go. There's our Shade. She's in there. Carillion. <laughs> and there's Volkmar. <laughs> just following after the War Altar. Beat him up, man. Beat him up. All right, let's just hold on for a minute and fight them. We we got to beat them too, you see. And those other mounted units I had, see, I wasn't really paying a lot of, a, of attention over here. So, uh, yeah, they got overrun, which is fine. They're not all dead. They're okay. I thought maybe they would focus on me, but they did not. So now in the future, I know to just always watch, to always be careful. But over here, we've won another major fight. We just need to wait for another major fight. That's going to be for the Plaza. They've got hundreds of Skaven who are left. I mean, we're not done fighting yet. The battle's not yet over. We've got some more stuff to do, you know. We've got some more Skaven to kill. Now, over here, I've got all of my heroes. I moved them around. I had them follow that pathway over to the other side of their formation. So now, we're going to have them fight a large group of enemies. Oh yeah, we need to do that. We've got to do that right away. Volkmar and everyone else. He's got the Jade Griffin and everything else. 
Carillion is here too. She's a shade fighting in melee. We have our war altar again. And on the other side, I'm going to have my other units just waiting for them, fighting, destroying them. My flagellants are moving in and we're just taking our time. And because of all of my modifications I have in my collection, we're able to do this, which is so cool. I love that so much that we're able to do all these cool things together because we're just, you know, using the tools to subtly change the game. It's not like major changes. It's just changes in very small things that make a traumatic, not traumatic, but dramatic difference. Now back over here, we've got our leaders still all fighting a large group. They're taking a lot of damage. And keep in mind, I'm using our Jade Wizard constantly. I'm using his magic, Awakening of the Wood. I'm using Earth Blood just the entire time to ensure that my leaders are staying alive and present to fight this battle. Man, what an awesome ability. There we go. Another one. Just shooting right through them. We've killed a lot of them. We're not done fighting yet. We've gotten a lot of kills. Let's go back over here. It's still not done. So let's see. Our flagellants are holding on. My hand gunners are taking shots where they're able to. I don't want friendly fire, so I'm glad they're not just shooting without any type of discrimination because they're God. That would be awful. Look at these men, just wiry men going after giant meaty rats. These rats are much thicker than they are. These men are uh, not well fed, as you can see. Self-flagellation, that's a thing that they indulge in. They all look damaged even before they get into combat. That's for a reason, you know. Such as their devotion to the end times and the goals of Sigmar. So we won over here. We beat them. Now it's time for my leaders to move into a new position to finish off what's left of the rat. Great foe. Awakening of the wood, just breaking back some of these Skaven. These visuals are awesome, by the way. Shameful display, you're right. Must have learned that from Shogun too. So let them keep on fighting. And so we're now bringing in our leaders in from behind who are going to hopefully help change up the entire fate of the battlefield. Here they come, Luther Huss and all. Do as you can, man. Earth blood, doesn't matter what. Just hit them. And the battle is over. We have won. So, we get to take Fester Spike. Good job, Volkmar the Grim. You've done it. We won it. We did it. My god, that was a challenging battle. Dude, Luther Huss killed 430. Are you kidding me? Our holy men are doing pretty well. 384 lost, and we're going to occupy Vester's spike. Yeah, sure. We can do that. I can let go of it later, but for now, let's hold on to it. Talisman of Protection, 6% ward save. I'll take that. Clan Spittle's gone. Okay, only one minor Skaven clan, but they're gone now. I did it. No more Skaven corruption to worry about, at least over here. All right. Volkmar, what do you need? You need, let's see, quite a few more levels until you get your War Altar of Sigmar. Which means I'm going to give you hard hit. Yeah, man. Enjoy that. Carillion, you did a great job. I'm going to give you, let's see, let's have a look over here. Yeah, take Stalk. Enjoy that. And Eric, no relation, Franz, I'm going to give you Evasion. Then we are good. And once we are back, we shall do so much more. Thank you for watching and leave a like down below. Until then.